we should consider shape functions for each mesh element. And what are shape functions? For example, for linear mesh elements, shape functions are like this n1, n2, and we have a combination of n1, n2. What is the idea behind the Gallerkin approach or weighted residual approach? We have this. Uh, we have this uh, keyword weighted residual method of uh, weighted residual or weighted residual method. The idea is this. We have a differential equation. We have a differential equation. This is our differential equation. I can rewrite it here. Gradient of epsilon r gradient of v is equal minus volume charge density divided by epsilon zero. So, as you know, we have an exact solution. Suppose this is the exact solution for one mesh element. An exact solution for one mesh element. But we don't know what is the exact solution. We can approximate it. For example, we can consider a linear function here. Instead of the exact solution, I can say, for example, u is my exact solution and v is an approximated solution. So if I consider V in this uh, equation, let me write here U, that is my exact solution. If I consider V instead of U in this equation, I don't have this equal sign exactly, right? Because I considered a linear approximation for this solution. So I have a residual. I have a residual, right? So uh, if I can minimize this residual or minimize this error, I can uh, get a good uh, approximation. But the mathematical formulation is uh, more complex than I uh, explained uh, here. We have a good reference. This is a good reference if you are interested to study the mathematical background behind the finite element uh, method. Just I want to uh, present you the Gallerkin approach and weak formulation. Weak formulation. Here is our Differential equation, we have uh, this equation. This is our differential equation. We can uh, change this equation into this equation, uh, actually into the integral form using uh, green identity. You can review this chapter. So, under certain mathematical constraints, this equation, this equation is equivalent to this equation. And if we find a proper value for proper function for u, that will be the solution of this equation also. And what is the difference between this equation and this equation is in this equation we have second derivative but in this equation we have first derivative and this is why this method is called uh, weak formulation right weak formulation also this uh, procedure in short is presented here is presented here as you can see we can uh, consider an 
approximated solution this is this equation i can write v is equal summation of vj e and j and is form function and uh, consider this function instead of my exact solution so if i place this function into this equation into this equation i have this equation 1.13 actually in this equation we collected all terms of this equation in one side we can move this uh, right hand side to the left hand side as you can see here we have all terms of the equation in one side finally if we multiply all terms by a function that is the the function is weight function as you can see here wx weight function and calculate this integration over the over this element element e this is called the residual of this element right so the aim is minimization of the value of this uh, residual the value of this residual this is the weighted residual method so here we have this equation and uh, we can use integration by parts or green greens identity to reduce the order of the equation here is integration by parts integration by parts as you can see we have this equation u dv is equal u v minus integral of v du so we can translate we can change this equation to this equation actually in this equation i have second derivative of v but in this equation i have first derivative of v and first derivative of w so uh, what is this term is epsilon dv dx that is d actually electric displacement current displacement current this notation so here we have this equation and if instead of w and v we consider uh, shape functions or norm functions we can reach a system of equations for one mesh element so let's summarize let's summarize we have this mesh element we have this mesh element we have an exact solution like this this is the exact solution we approximated this solution by this linear function the value of voltage here is v1 the value of voltage here is v2 this function i call this v v is summation of or i can write v where v1 n1 n is a norm function plus v2 n2 x and also we know the value of nx and n 2x this is uh, n1 the value here is 1 and the value excuse me this is n1 the value here is 0 here is 1 and this is n2 the value here is uh, 0 and here is 1 this is n2 so if i want to calculate v1 and v2 i should uh, have two linear independent equations 
two linear independent equations. So actually, if we consider n1 and n2 as weight functions, so I can place them into this equation and consequently I have these two equations. So in this equation, the weight function is equal to n1. Here the weight function is equal to n2. And we have epsilon e, the permittivity of the element, and approximated solution. That is a linear solution. This is v actually that we approximated it by this summation, by this linear function. So if you calculate these integrals by knowing this information, we know the value of n1 and n2 at endpoints. You can summarize the results into this form, into this matrix equation, right? We have a matrix here. We have V1, V2, F1, F2, and D1, E minus D2, E. This matrix is called the stiffness matrix. And this vector is called the force vector. So you can see the value of each element of a stiffness matrix and force vector that are calculated by this method. Right. Okay. So, and we have uh, this vector that I explain it uh, later. So, this is the, however, we have uh, a strong mathematical background, a strong mathematical background. What is the integral form of differential equation? What is the uh, what is the uh, weak formulation and Galerkin method? Right. So the idea is this. Uh, the idea is this. Uh, we assume an approximate solution, and then to be able to calculate this function, we should have a system of equations. For example. Here I have two variables. Here I have two variables. And I can calculate the value of these two variables by weak formulation. Instead of using the second order form, I can change this equation into a first order form and then consider n1 and n2 instead of weight function to be able to construct this system of equations. 